Hey everyone. So I wanted to show you guys how I'm making my doors for my cupboards. And the boards that I bought are like a grade three shelving board that they sell. I bought those because they're cheaper and they still look pretty nice with the naughty pine look. But they only came in nine inch wide boards. So I'll have to join them together. So this right here is called a biscuit joiner. And basically what it is, is just a rotary saw blade that protrudes out from a plate that has squaring uh, fences and allows you to dig out a half moon groove on the side plane of your project and then you can use these biscuits to put in those holes to make one on each side and then when you glue them together it gives it more rigidity so that's what I'm in the process of doing now so I'm gonna carry on with this and see if I can't get something done
morning everybody so here's my six cupboard doors uh, over the past three days I put them together I didn't finish that night until late so they need 24 hours for the glue to dry so that took till the following evening and then yesterday I stained them and now the stain is dry I can put the door handles on I got these door handles which I think are pretty cool off of uh, AliExpress it's a, like a wood dowel down the middle with these black pieces for the uh, machine screw to hold it on and I think that'll look really smart on there I, I figure what I'm gonna do is uh, give you guys a little example of the strength of wood glue I got uh, a piece from the top of this door here so this particular piece I don't believe has any biscuits in it I didn't go do the biscuits in this in this section here but this joint here here and here is where the uh, the glue is holding the four boards together so let me move the camera and go somewhere where I can be more in the open so I don't hit these and then I'll I'll tap it over my knee and we'll see how much uh, strength it takes to to break this piece okay so I'll give it a couple of medium taps I'll give it a couple of harder taps So there you go and it did break that piece right pretty much as the joint I can see some glue here but this part is still stuck to there so it was more in my opinion it was more the greens of the wood that let go but that was a wide piece and it had uh, a lot more leverage let me try with a smaller piece So there's some light taps. So that one broke right in the middle, not at the seam. I'm going to try to hit it right on the seam and see if I can break it. Right at the seam and how much it takes. That one went pretty easy. But that's, you can hear from the sound, I'm putting a good amount of pressure on that to get it to break. So wood glue is a really good joinery method and when you add those biscuits it uh, it really strengthens the joining capability of the wood. And this is just pine, it's soft wood, straight grain so I thought that would be a cool example. So now I gotta put the door hardware on. I'll install the handles and uh, the hinges. Uh, the hinges I got on Amazon, uh, they were like 10 bucks for 30. I just bought real cheap hinges for the doors. And uh, <laughs> I must have had a different plan in mind when I originally laid out this kitchen. And I'm one door handle short. So I just ordered another one, but it'll be a month before it comes in since it's coming from China. So let's get to putting the rest of it together and getting them hung.
What do you guys think? I think they turned out all right. Now, time to go and hang them. I could do all the rest of this stuff, but <clears throat> I don't know about getting these things straight. I'll do my best. Well guys, there you have it. The tiny kitchen and the tiny house. And a little bit of electrical carpentry for your day. <laughs> uh, I made a bunch of mistakes. Uh, some of the doors, they aren't exactly straight. I'm no good at that finishing carpentry stuff, let alone framing. And then I don't know when I sanded these, I must have went against the green here in a couple spots. And so I've got these uh, against the green grooves in that showed up when I put the stain on. And it looks like I might have dripped some stain in a couple spots and let it, uh, there's another one up there at the top. And let it sit there and soak into that one spot too much before I wiped it. So it's a couple imperfections, but uh, just like me, I'm not a perfect person. Uh, uh, it's uh in my image i suppose so i'm sorry if this is a bit of a long video i know i've uh I've, I, i'm not sure if i'll split this into two videos or keep it as one video but uh building the cupboards and making the doors and putting it all together was an exciting adventure for me something new that i've never done before and uh it was pretty fun experience and uh Hopefully if you guys go to build your own cabins, you're gonna take on all the tasks and try to do them yourself too. And I hope uh, in watching my videos, you'll learn something uh, that might help you along the way. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like my cupboards, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.